<gasps> Is that the chalice? You said it was melted down and sold. Fall not for their lies. That could be any chalice. This does not prove a thing. Where did you find this chalice? In a secret chamber. We believe Pry James hid it because he felt guilty for falsely accusing Jack's father. What proof do you have? He told me. The night the cathedral burned down, I was there, I saw him. Prior James died weeks before that. No, he did not. Bishop Henry, he speaks the truth. Oh, Prometheus is out. Order. I will give you until sunset to produce a witness who can prove your accusations against Bishop Whaleran. Why did he shoot Timothy? Not just this chalice. If you fail to do this, I will make sure you are tried for defamation. Philip of Gwyneth, you will stay under arrest. The trial recommences at sunset. Man, this is tense. This is really tense. We need a witness. What are you doing there? I've seen you draw up plans for a cathedral. Maybe we can do something similar to find our witness. Let's see. Your father. He looks just like you. My grandmother said he did. And Bishop Whaleran. What are the connections? Maybe, by exploring them, we can find a witness. Good idea. Bishop Whaleran wants to see Philip burn, is behind the death of so many, made sure to leave almost no traces. That bitch, Jack's father, was a jungler. His parents uh, uh, thought he died on the white ship, was then hanged in Chiring as a thief. Uh, I really, really hope that we can actually find a way to save Philip. Not Philip! I will gladly sacrifice anyone in this game except for my boy Philip. Not Philip! Alrighty, viewers. Uh. Well, I guess this is uh, some sort of a new. Uh, A mechanic here? Uh, I don't know what uh, what the hell are we trying to do here? Are we gonna try and link people together? So I'm gonna assume that this whole paper is gonna be full. Uh, is gonna be full of uh, characters that that are at least. Uh, well, you know, have relationship, uh, have some sort of a relationship with each other. Jack's father was a jungler. His parents uh, thought he died in the white ship. Was then hanged in Chari as a thief. This is Bishop Wileran. Uh, wants to be. Uh, wants Philip. Wants to see Philip burn. Is behind the death of so many. Made sure to leave almost no traces. So this guy was the bad guy, after all, huh? He's the the main villain of this uh, game. Jack's father. If he was still with us, he could be our witness. Maybe he still can. Uh. Oh, this is how I link him to a. Uh... Uh, you know, link him to to the other character. I need to become an. Okay. Or if I if link him to himself. Had not come to England, none of this would have happened. Perhaps. Or maybe it would have happened to someone else. That's true. Whaleran would have hurt others. He's responsible for all this. 
And we'll prove that. My father was younger than I am now when he died. Waylaren will pay for what he did to him. Huh. Definitely reminds me of uh, a few people I knew that had a father that actually died young. Uh, yeah, I know, I know a lot of people that uh, their parents uh, died definitely uh, at a young age. Uh, why did I bring that up? I don't know. <laughs> Jack Sherborg, help us save Philip, please. My father was younger than I am now when he died. Okay, I think that's gonna be repeated. Uh, what if we uh, interact with Waylaren is at the center with, uh, with Waylaren? Waylaren is a man who thinks of himself, not of others. I mean, uh, so am I. <laughs> so am I. So everyone, I uh, assume. We must find a witness or Waylaren will burn Philip. But not to the point that, uh, you know, uh, that would uh, invade people's uh, uh, right and, you know, being, uh, starting to being a piece of shit. Waylaren is a man who thinks of himself. Uh, okay, uh... We started the drawing with Jack, so might as well link him with the... Uh, Mother says Waylaren was behind my father's death. Mm -hmm. We know and that. she said he wasn't alone. There were three men responsible for your father's death. Bishop Waylaren. Percy, Percy Hamley, yes. Back then he and, was the uh, sheriff of Shiring. And Prior and James. James of Kingsbridge. Mm-hmm. If they were all there, then they were all witnesses. And only Waylaren still alive. Hardly a coincidence. Why would these three men work together to falsely accuse your father? Hmm. He was on the white ship. No one survived that night. No one lived to tell the story. Yes. He was the sole survivor. And then they killed him. But why? What, what did he witness, though? What did he witness, exactly? Did he witness uh, the people? Or maybe they thought they, uh, they witnessed the people that did that. Maybe he was the one that actually did that. I don't know. That's uh, something that I really don't know, viewers. <laughs> I'm speculating things here. Oh, yeah, but we got introduced uh, with uh, three points of interest, viewers. The white chip and uh, two bitches. Percy Hamley and uh, James. Well, especially Percy. Percy's a bitch. Now, what about Pride James? If only James was still with us. He regretted what he did. Maybe he would have helped us to save Philip. I mean... In a way... He is helping us. We still haven't found his Without body. Him, we would not have found the chalice. But I don't think he's still alive. He's gonna be really old. He he was already old when all of that happened, so he is probably gonna be extremely old. If that's the case. Probably even... Look, most likely senile as well. I think I understand now why Philip warned us against mixing religion and politics. God will judge him for his sins. I think I understand. Prior James was prior of Kingsbridge before Philip. He died in the fire. We don't know that for sure. Thought Jack was his uh, father haunting him. We don't know that though. Percy Hambly took uh, Earl's castle and arrested Bartholomew. Was poisoned. Father of William Hambly. William Hamley's father. Percy Hamley was involved in all this. But the dead don't talk. True. What we need is a witness. A living one. I mean... 
they'll assume that James is dead. Uh, there is one party that's uh, that haven't been mentioned here in this trio, by the way, viewers, but... Uh, If I remember correctly, I actually mentioned uh, who uh, that guy is, but um, we'll see if uh, anyone is actually remember. <laughs> for those who have been following the channel. And following this playthrough. But there is one, uh, someone that, that surprisingly they haven't mentioned uh, a lot. Uh, especially when, uh, when relating to all these people. Percy and his wife had always lusted for power. Everyone lusts for power, though. I remember well when the Hamleys took my father's castle. Percy and his wife had always... Hmm. We have the white ship sank uh, in autumn of uh, 1120. And what about the ship? They say no one survived, but Jack's father survived. The white ship? Had those on board survived, there would have been no war, no anarchy. My father might still have been alive. And mine. And mine. I mean, how do you know? I doubt we would ever be able to prove that the sinking was not an accident. It all started aboard that ship. I doubt we would ever be able to... Uh... What if I link this to My this? My father wanted to go to England. He was the only one who made it when the white ship sank. But he's dead. So it's uh, the... Uh, like, we're trying to hear... We're trying to find a, wi a, a witness, and... You know. And he has to be alive. <laughs> Hardly a coincidence that the King's heirs all died on that ship. Maybe my father knew what happened. My father survived the sea, but those that were behind the sinking of the ship caught up with him in the end. Hardly a coincidence that the king's... Hmm. Alright, let's continue. Uh, I would definitely uh, link... Uh, Jack to James. James was the prior of Kingsbridge. That's where they say your father stole the chalice, melted it, and sold it. But we know that's not true. As we found it, Philip recognized the chalice. But Bishop Henry wants a witness. The chalice isn't enough. But it's an important lead for us. Oh. Got something new here. A chalice. A golden cup. Jim encrusted. They say it was melted down and sold, but that's not true. Your father was locked up in our priory. Shaq Sherborg help us. Maybe someone from our priory, someone other than James, was involved as well. Ah? Uh -huh. But who? I think we're heading to the right direction here. Your father was locked up in our pro I think we're heading to the right direction. Uh, I mean, I can attempt linking these together, viewers, but I don't know if uh, that's gonna be, like, uh, something that would uh, penalize me in my choices. Because, you know, they said that I actually have limited amount of time. So I kind of want to explore the dialogues, but uh, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to waste time. But I know, I know how, you know. I think the uh, the uh, the way to link stuff together is to definitely like everything is uh, a clear for, uh, from here. We should be linking the uh, uh, the chalice to James. I think we're getting closer. Waylon and James probably thought no one would think twice if they claimed it stolen such a treasure. They made sure the people would see him as a sinner and demand for him to be hanged. This chalice was used during Mass to hold the wine of the Eucharist. 
Waylon and James probably thought no one would think twice if they claimed it. They made sure that. Mm. Now we can link the uh, the chalice to James. <laughs> James claimed that your father had stolen the chalice and sold it. But instead, James himself hid it in Kingsbridge, in the crypt. We found his scourge in a bed down there. That secret chamber is important. Well, we got a new entry here. Secret chamber. Reason for the crack on the eastern wall. Chalice was hidden there. I uh, found it only a few days ago. Damn. That was a sign uh, from God, huh? We're close. The secret room was there. All these years. Almost as if it was lying in wait. The cathedral waited for the right moment to give up its secrets. God's ways are inscrutable. Who dug this chamber? Interesting question. The cathedral waited for the right moment to give up its secrets. God's ways are inscrutable. <laughs> Who dug this chain? The cathedral. God's ways are in. Uh, we're gonna link the secret chamber to James. Everyone thought Prior James was dead. That he broke into the ice. And now we know he was hidden away. Why did his monks believe he was dead? Sub Prior Remigius told everyone he had found James' rosary by the river. So everyone thought the body had been washed away. They buried an empty casket. But how is Remigius involved? Philip told me that Remigius was there when Waylorin made Philip prior. Waylorin and Remigius knew each other. That explains why Waylorin later made Remigius prior of Shiring. And Remigius recognized my mother when we arrived in Kingsbridge. Uh he must have been there at the time my father was arrested. I think Remigius knows all about this. Is it possible that Waylaren told Remigius to make Prior James disappear when James began to talk about what they'd done? Yep. When James started talking to the devil. But for some reason, Remigius hid him away. But Waylaren never knew. Yes. That explains why he really didn't believe you. Oh! When you said you had seen James in the fire. I just realized James something. James died after all. And Remigius thought no one knew. I just we realized something. Remigius. He's our witness. Let's hurry. It's getting dark already. The trial will continue soon. People know you two. You shouldn't walk around showering like that. Ah. <sighs> He's right. I'll go look for him. Hmm. All right. Take care of yourself. And Jonathan. Yes? We will talk later about what was said today. About Tom. All right. Remigius, now where are you? Remigius is our witness. Where is he? This is something that I really hope that it is true. Didn't... Wasn't Remigius the first person to find out or to actually claim that... Uh, that uh, he actually died uh, at the river? That he actually, you know, everyone assumed that he actually took his life. And he actually inserted that idea. But also, he also claimed that he found, like, he he didn't find his body, but he's, he found his rosary. And we know that was wrong. He was the first one to actually fi uh, find this. So he m might have implanted it. I just realized that. We think that the game didn't bring that up. Maybe they're gonna bring that up uh, later. Uh, maybe they're gonna bring that up later. I think it's important. 
the uh, people claimed that he uh, it was him that fallen there because they found his rosary and he is definitely uh, well, I'm gonna assume that he was the one that implanted uh, it there and uh, not James himself mm. all right we're gonna c take control of uh, Johnny boy the divine soul Philip wrote it and now they can accuse him of heresy. <laughs> God damn, a new protagonist to arise from the ashes. Is he gonna replace Philip? No. No. Nobody can replace uh, Philip. Nobody! Alrighty, viewers. Now we have control of uh, Jonathan. Let's go ahead and look around. Uh, they're already praying? Oh, they're already building the pyre. Need to hurry. Uh-oh. According to Philip, God himself could never stop a fire. I'm not sure if that's true, but someone has to save Philip. How many areas can we interact with it? Uh, I'm gonna assume he's gonna be there. We're probably gonna have to ask people there. No one may approach the pyre. Why not? Bishop Henry's orders. Oh, all right. Brothers? What is it? Have you seen the prior of Shari? Remigius? We have not. And now step back, brother. We must be done by nightfall. Weird uh, that uh, actually that disappeared. They haven't seen him. Uh, I'm gonna ask uh, the people here. No comparison to our cathedral. Still the largest building within uh, the town walls. I mean, that's uh, closer. Everyone left for the trial, it seems. There is nobody there. There is nobody there. Alright. Go to the tavern? No one here. Have all gone uh, to the cathedral. It's our spectacle for the drunkards. <laughs> Is that so? I'm gonna assume that he's actually in uh, the palace. Hello? They're all gone. No one's here. No one's here. Oh, look, I just noticed the line. It's actually starting from here, holy. All of this, all of these people are lined up just to, to see what's happening there. God damn. God damn. Mm, let's go ahead and check the large house. Hello? <sighs> no one's home. No one's home. There's no place to go. There's no place to go. Hey, have a nice day. Are you an, uh, are you an Avril Lavigne uh, fan? <laughs> um, I don't know why th that song is actually... Avril Lavigne songs... Uh, are st always stuck uh, uh, in my head for some reason. Nah, I don't like. Uh, I don't. I don't like her songs at all. Uh, she's easy on the eyes, though. Gotta give her that. She, she definitely aged really well. For I gotta be honest, like most, uh, like most uh, of the uh, of the uh, celebrities that I know, you know, when I see them in like in their uh, prime, and then. Uh, a few years later, they aged like ass. But, uh, yeah, surprisingly, she actually did age well. Damn, I remember, uh... 
uh, Christina Aguilero. Anyone remember uh, that uh, that person? <laughs> she aged terribly. She got fat. She looks like she will. Uh, she should be in. I don't know. I don't know. Some sort of a, a stupid uh, or a reality TV show like uh, Honey Boo Boo or some shit. Old fashioned cathedral. So many people came uh, to the trial. For most of them, it's just a show. But goddamn, Christ Christina Aguilera when she was young. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Do you want to go in, Father? No, not yet. Thank you. Are you not with Prior Philip? Yes, I am. I pray they'll set him free. He's a good man. He is a heretic! But <laughs> You're fools! Look at yourselves! <laughs> who are you to judge a man who has never hurt anyone? Forgive them, Father! We don't judge him, but God will! God will! Ah! That's a goddamn weasel! We saw- what? <laughs> we saw him! Have you seen Father Amegis? The Prior of Shiring? He was here a moment ago. Where's he now? What do you want with him? Yeah, what do you want with him? Oh, forget it. He was here. God damn weasel just snuck. I uh... saw him. He can't have gone far. Just by now. Man. Solid snake have an ass motherfucker. Where the hell did you go? Um, well, I've seen him go here. Remedius? I don't think he's here. I think he's here. That's him! Wait. Was that him? Oh! He took a horse? I think I saw him. With the... Uh... With the uh, goddamn Timothy. Uh-oh. The burning cart. Can I do something to that cart? One of the wheels, uh... Broke. And the haze on fire. Uh oh. I wonder if I can do anything. Man with a child. I don't know him. He's looking at me. Oh, is that Alfred? That's Alfred. But I don't think he remembers Alfred, though. What happened here? Damn monks running across the street like that. Tried not to run them over. Now I got a broken wheel, and my apprentice dropped his torch. I didn't mean to. Sorry. Heard Sorry it doesn't to. touch it. <laughs> Did you see Prior Remigius? If you mean them two monks that are responsible for this mess, then yeah, we saw them. Two monks? Where did they go? Over to St. George's. Bastards. They should pay for this mess. <laughs> they will. <laughs> um, the voice, uh... The voiceover uh, for this game, viewers, is, uh, is top-notch, I gotta be honest. They went that way. Dumbass apprentice! <laughs> Alright, let's uh, check on Alfred. Have you seen a priest walk through here? Father Amegis? No, sorry, I haven't. All right. Hey. Damn, your kid is ugly as shit. Yes? You're Jonathan, right? Yes, I am. And who are you? Never mind, but there's something you should know. Tom Builder. He left you behind because your mother died. He had no way to feed you. He thought he had no other choice. How do you know all this? He went looking for you an hour later, but you were gone. And when he finally found you in Kingsbridge, he was there for you ever since. But he thought he'd lost the right to be your father. Just who are you? Just remember what I said. I pray they won't burn, Philip. He's a good man. Uh, can we go home, Daddy? Ew, ugly kid. Yes. Let's go home.
Uh, well, I guess we kind of found a potential uh, witness, right? We kind of found a potential witness. So, uh, yeah, these uh, idiots uh, should be here, so. Let's go ahead and uh, head to St. George. Hello? The door's open. Is anyone there? You had one task. By God! <laughs> no! Our bishop is very... Very... He's trying to kill him. Displeased. <gasps> no! What are you doing? Uh-oh. I'm doing what is asked of me. <laughs> wow. Stop it! Uh-oh. Let's go! I'm the cutie he got! Stay away! I'm the miracle here! The miracle at work, viewers! No! Who told you to do this? No one! I, uh... <laughs> Timothy! <laughs> what a... What a klutz! Why did he do this to you? I will tell you. I will tell everyone. Do you have a witness? Father Remigius, Prior of Shiring. Where is Timothy? What they told you is true. Bishop Whaleron wanted the jongleur Jacques Cherbourg dead. He ordered our Prior James to frame him. And so he did. This is a lie! Is it? James lost his mind because of what he did for you. He was about to tell everyone the truth. And then you ordered me to kill him. Nonsense. Let him speak. I couldn't do it. I hit him. But he died in the fire. Jack saw him. It was him. I found the bones after the fire. And I buried them. You huh. should put an end to this, Henry. You really should. Why would I? You should stop this for your own sake. You knew about all this. Why would I care if that jongleur lived or died? Your brother cared. The jongleur survived the sinking of the white ship. He saw how your brother's men killed the king's family so that he could take the throne. <laughs> this is preposterous. Bishop Henry and King Stephen ordered us to kill the man. Damn. <laughs> you want the truth? That's the truth. Right there. It is not. Regent Hambly. Wailerun a Regan, a not Regan. Regan Hamley. Who is she? Who's Regan Hamley? I have waited long enough for this day. It is time I raise my voice. The woman, Ellen, she spoke the truth. Three men were responsible for the death of the jongleur. James, the prior of Kingsbridge. The sheriff, my husband, Percy Hamley. But it was Waleron who was behind it. And only Waleron. No! He had heard rumors about the white ship about our king. 
He had hoped to win the king's favor by hanging an innocent man. But it was not just me. They all knew. Take him away. Oh shit. It's gonna they're gonna put him behind the clink. This is for taking my husband's life. It was Wellerin. Oh, we did it. It's over. Yes, it's over. Is it? Thank you, Lady Hamby. This monk must learn his lesson. The Pope would agree. This trial is not over. Son of a bitch! Challenge the teachings and the authority of the Church. The ordeal of fire will take place. No! To show that the Church is not above God. To show that my brother, the King of the English, is not above God. Not we, but God shall judge this man. This is madness! No, they can't do this. Philip! Philip is chanting something? No! You cannot do this! This is now a matter of the church, Lady Aliena. My brother, the king, and I accepted the traitor Waleran into our midst. We were fools and sinners, even if we did not know. I pray that our Lord will save Philip from these flames, for his salvation shall be a salvation for all of us sinners. Oh, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give Light the pyre! No. Oh my God, there, there must be something we can do. Stop this madness! No. Is it true? That's it for Philip? No. Well, chapter 20, the end, viewers. God damn it. What you did, Bishop Waylon was brought to justice. Philip did not admit to heresy. You managed to clear the name of Jack's father. Eliana forgave Philip for causing her family's downfall. Finally, Jonathan learned who his parents were. Philip was ordered to be burned alive. Did he die? Is he dead? Is he dead? Chapter 21 The final chapter, epilogue I can see the cathedral fully built. Pretend to Kingsbridge. Who are we playing as? Who is this guy? I cannot see his face. I'm trying to actually make him face uh, the foreground, but uh, <laughs> I can't. I wonder if there is actually a way for me to stop, uh, to stop, uh, burning. Ah, he's alive! He's alive, my boy! He is alive! <laughs> yes! My boy, my oh man Philip is alive. Thankfully, <laughs> Kingsbridge, almost there. My feet hurt. 
What happened to your pony? Walk home. <laughs> Yeah, but it shows you how uh, Kingrids has flourished into a full-fledged uh, city. You know, with roads, stone roads, and whatnot. And the cathedral is almost finished. Prior! <gasps> is that Jonathan? There he is! Finally. My feet hurt. No Bible? <laughs> no Bible. So what happened? What saved him? I would assume that uh, the drought finished and it rained. Ah, Philip. It is so good to see you, Jonathan. Tell me, how are things at St. John in the Forest? Francis is well. Oh, he's back to wonderful. being uh, yes, a prior there? He enjoys the life there. You look worried, Jonathan. Well, you have a visitor. He just arrived. Is that not a good thing, Jonathan? Who is it? That is just it. I wasn't sure if you wanted to see him. Remigius? It has been a long time. Oh? Uh -huh. Whalerin? Ah. Yes. It has. I had to know. Know what? The truth is. I never saw. Or the devil. Have you? Oh Lord, deliver us from evil. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. There must be something we can do. Stop this madness! Are you blind? Do you not know that a fire will burn any man? No matter who he is! Why are you doing this? After Waylon's words, there is doubt in their hearts about my motives, about my brothers. No words can erase that doubt, but God can. Our Lord is a cleansing fire. <laughs> He's still alive. <laughs> Whoa. How is this possible? It's all a matter of perspective. We have to stop this! No, Jack. Come. My God. No. But that's what they see. That's what they believe. The water. It's... It's dowsing the flames. It's it's a trick. To them, it's a miracle. The justice of our church. I believe Philip understands that now. His book will be destroyed. If you or your friends ever mention the white ship again, I promise you will take prior Philip's place. And God will not be as forgiving. Their faith in you and your church is restored. I say it was worth sparing that monk's life. That is fucked up. Promise me that Waylaren will suffer. That is actually fucked up. 1175. 20 years later. Philip? Hmm? Yes? Did you see God? Did he save you that night?
here's the thing, viewers. It's like, I don't think... I don't think... Whaler deserves my answer, but... Jonathan is hearing. If I'm gonna answer that, I'm gonna answer it for Jonathan. And not for... Uh, and not for Whaleran. Because uh, this piece of shit doesn't deserve uh, anything. I told him. He only smiled at me. I never saw him again as long as I lived. Philip is back. Philip! Did you walk all the way again? Just part of it. Old fool. I'm even Martha's old. Ellen stayed in Kingsbridge. I thought I had lost God, that he did not watch over us. But now I see him every day. He is in the good we do. In how we show our love. Jack's hands had become rough, his hair gray. But his eyes still burned bright like hot coals. It's good to see you. Aliena's gaze could be as stern as her father's had been, but her heart and wit made her a leader people did not follow out of fear, but out of respect and loyalty. Jonathan told us you had a visitor. Just an old friend. What do you think of this window? Jonathan came to look more and more like his father, Tom. As Prior of Kingsbridge, he is also a builder of sorts. I use mostly warm colours. What good are the large windows if it feels cold? Sally is as stubborn and as gifted as her parents. It is her stained glass windows the light is falling through. She has children of her own now. And I'd like to show you the plans for the new cloister. Tommy will be the next master builder, and is as silent as his grandfather was. Once I heard him admonish his father to be more serious at work. Jack only smiled. He's not gonna he be the Tommy Earl? He was right. Martha stayed in Kingsbridge as well. She was always there for every one of us. It's Judge Tommy. I don't know. Why don't you ask him yourself? Is the church done now? <laughs> it will never be done. Not in my lifetime. Not in yours. Is that how he's kid? us for what we did. For who we were. And maybe for what we tried to be. And when you turn your eyes to our cathedral, maybe you will see yourself. There it is, viewers. There it is. The conclusion of uh, the Pillars of the Earth. What a fantastic game. A fantastic conclusion as well. Yeah, I... Uh, I love this game, viewers. <laughs> this, game is, uh, this game is amazing. This game is really good.
Like, uh... It is hard for a, uh... Uh, for a, uh... Uh, an adventure game, like, uh... A narrative-based game that makes you get hooked up to, uh, its character. Not, even most of, uh, its character. That's actually pretty amazing. I think that's actually did work. That definitely reflects, uh, really well on the book itself. If they're actually uh, relying on the book, if they're actually following uh, uh, how the book actually presented the story, then that actually reflects how good the book really is. And I'm, now I'm actually... Uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to actually read the book uh, uh, sometime soon. I still haven't uh, ordered it, but uh, hopefully pretty soon. Uh, so yeah, my thoughts, pretty much. Uh, you know, other than just saying uh, that I love it. <laughs> Yeah, the, the game really did a great job in making you really like all of its character. Even have some sort of an emotion towards most of its character, too. Like how... Uh... And that's really a, a, like a good thing. Like, there uh, there should be some characters that invoke some sort of a, 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 like an emotion towards you. Uh, Will, uh, uh, William Hamley definitely did, uh, did the job. You see him as a piece of shit. Uh, you you saw it in Percy. You definitely see that uh, that guy's a a, a pussy, and uh, like uh, all uh, most of the characters, if not all of them, are really really well written. Especially the main characters, the main the main characters that uh, we have interaction with. You can actually see uh, the characters themselves uh, grow because there's there's actually a clear uh, uh, character progression. Uh, some of them I really don't like that much, especially uh, like I, I, most of them I like. I, it's, uh, except for the fact that uh, the weird thing that happened with uh, with uh, Jack and Aliena all of a sudden, like, like the way that uh, all all of these like went for them when he actually turned into I don't know, Jack turned into a monk and she and Aliena married uh, Alfred for some reason. It really didn't make any sense at all. It it was really stupid, uh, in my opinion. It was really stupid. Uh. But, uh, Philip, on the other hand, Philip, wow, uh, I would uh, definitely say that Philip is uh, by far my favorite character in this game. The way that he started believing on, uh, uh, you know, by the teaching uh, of God, actually going the, uh, uh, you know, the game gives you option to, to reject or, uh, like, especially, you know, uh, the, the game definitely gives you option to... Uh, to be a, you know, uh, to be, uh, to withstand the hardship of actually being lenient to people, especially when, when he accepted, when he accepted the people that came, uh, from, you know, the refugees, uh, accepted, accept, accepted them in Kingsbridge, even at, a, at, uh, at its worst, uh, uh, time by far, especially the end, uh, the beginning, very beginning of the game, definitely the, the worst period for, for, uh, uh, for Kingsbridge overall, and he accepted them at that uh, moment, with all the uh, you know, with all you know, with uh, with Kingsbridge uh, lacking food and shelter, uh, with its uh, with you know, with the weather being extremely cold. So I don't know if that uh, if uh, actually that is true for Philip uh, in the book, but I would assume it definitely, definitely, it definitely shows that Philip as a character is actually he was the. Like he's a, he's a kind and kindred and kindred uh, person altogether. So he, this is actually something that he will he will do. CEO is named Stephen Harms. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder if they reference. Uh, but no, no, no. This is a already writ written book. But uh, uh, I think there are a few games that actually reference their uh, their their company uh, uh, chief. Uh, Chief officers on, you know, the head honchos to be the uh, the shitty people altogether. <laughs> but in anywho, uh, 
But I'm, I'm pretty sure that's just a coincidence. It definitely, like, throughout the game, it definitely shows how, uh, uh, you know, Philip, they did that trope with Philip, with the, the, the religious uh, person, on, uh, you know, losing faith uh, in God, and then actually, then accepting that. The, he he, he kind of went to, the, uh, showcased how he went to with the, uh, all of the, uh, uh, whole uh, steps of uh, denial and acceptance and all of that. Oh, I forgot what uh, I forgot what uh, what it's actually called. Uh, but you know, you see him denying the fact and then griefing and then and then uh, uh, what was what were what were they deny. Deny grief, accept. So there's something bad before acceptance. Uh, though, but, uh, uh, all in all, that definitely didn't change uh, him as a person. And, uh, it definitely, like, he was, uh, a person. Yeah, but I'm trying to, to be, um, trying to, uh, to uh, articulate my point about uh, why I actually uh, love him as a character, uh, like the trope is like redundant. I'm sure of that, but I think they actually did it really well in uh, in this game. The way that, uh, like, I think the circumstances of the of the game itself, especially, uh, I think uh, that. W w uh, like he was in in uh, in a point where decisions are actually the ones that matter, rather than uh, you know uh, being stuck with his own personal problems, and that's why how it definitely showed him how he's uh, he's a strong character uh, altogether, at least strong-willed, even though his will uh, or his faith uh, in God is kind of broken. He pretty much kind of. doesn't even believe in all of that and I don't know if the uh, if the last few moments of this game actually showed like uh, like why he's laughing the, the weird way that he laughed maybe he was like uh, like he laughed because uh, like he was he was uh, he was uh, he was relieved that uh, you know of the irony that all of that was actually uh, done to uh, you know to give people hope was it right to actually lie to people just to give them hope and uh, uh, that's the whole thing of the game <laughs> he was uh, uh, at the uh, you know uh, it definitely proved that he was uh, right and he was critical about uh, that he was uh, really critical about it and he kind of started to accept that direction not accepting the uh, uh, you know the teaching to be true, the miracles to be true, but the miracle to be something that people need. Uh, maybe it is such. Uh, maybe it is a, a thing that people actually do need because uh, uh, people do believe in a lot of things in their in their life viewers, especially you know people grow to be you know Christians, Muslims, uh, uh, following uh, Judaism. Uh, they can actually follow uh, b being uh, even spiritual, being uh, Hindu, Buddhist, uh, whatever uh, uh, any of the uh, these uh, other spiritual uh, r religions, and uh, that give that uh, something like that gives uh, people content and gives people uh, uh, purpose in some ways. Uh, and uh, it definitely shows. This is something that it actually definitely shows. Like regardless of uh, whatever you believe, if you have st a st strong sense of belief of uh, whatever you're actually told, uh, you feel content. You don't feel lost. And that's something uh, is uh, is extremely. Um, it is definitely uh, an in an interesting uh, subject altogether about. Uh, having full belief of something that you know is true especially when it comes to spirituality and all of that which 
it's definitely a more complicated subject that uh, you know that I can uh, summarize here in this uh, review, but uh, I think that's uh, the really most interesting aspect about a character that uh, have uh, had this kind of trope, the trope that Philip had, a, re a religious person that he had like uh, uh, he runs into an event that shake in his belief in God altogether. Uh, all of these definitely are well crafted. Uh, uh, all of these are definitely well crafted, absolutely uh, amazing. Like the end result is absolutely fantastic. Uh, that's probably uh, like uh, how they uh, showcase. Of course, I'm gonna have to give credit to to the voice uh, over as well. Uh, they are definitely, definitely. Uh, uh, did a great job with the voiceover, uh, with everyone, pretty much. Uh, now, what can I say, even w w with Philip? Like, what did Philip do uh, for a game that? Uh... But I gotta be honest. If I'm gonna credit uh, a, a, cr a critic uh, something about this game. I will definitely critic the fact that, uh, I don't know, I don't know if it's actually like a fair cr uh, cr uh, critic for it. Because this game definitely tries to... To try something different from the book, and and and, uh, and uh, I might, this is something that I might actually have to uh, research later after... After I finish uh, this recording, research later if the, if it is actually true, you can actually change things. Maybe I'm, I'm uh, you can actually. Uh, I'm sure if once I actually read the the book, uh, I am going to to learn like exactly what happened. What's the uh, the uh, the other points that actually uh, that actually you can actually um, uh, uh, pick that actually uh, that diverts the. Uh, the story, I mean, it definitely seems like, as I said, it, it is clear now that uh, there, are, uh, there are choices that, if you actually do them, will, uh, will definitely change, uh, uh, you know, d will, uh, some of the decisions uh, that you, you're gonna make that, oh, uh, would choose, uh, like, would, uh, uh, how, how can I say it? How can I say it? Yeah, my vocabulary sucks, by the way, viewers. <laughs> uh, having a little bit of problem articulate my uh, my point, but um, how your choices can actually affect uh, even characters in the long term, like how we managed to make a choice that affected Richard altogether, and it definitely seemed that Richard as a character might actually be like uh, it definitely def definitely shows that if you kill richard early the book might actually um, the book altogether the solely altogether might be missing uh, like some 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 important crucial member cuz uh, why would someone like catface uh would go through all that trouble uh, to help someone like uh, Lady Aliena, for example. It doesn't make sense. That's, it definitely... I would assume that Catface w was supposed to replace uh, Richard if Richard uh, uh, died. Uh, this is a, a, an, uh, an assumption, by the way, viewers. And a decision like that, I would definitely say that if Richard actually played an important role, even if he actually went through a war to actually... You know, try and uh, and appear uh, to appease to the king and be in the good side of the king. I would definitely say that he actually plays an important role. And if if the game actually decides that it's gonna kill him, uh, it's really not about choices matter at this point. It's just removing one uh, crucial part of the game since the ending. Oh, and I'm gonna assume that the ending of this game. Is gonna be the same of how uh, the book concludes, where everything, everyone is gonna be happy ever after, where you know the the construction is of the cathedral is gonna be completed. Uh, 
uh, and all of that and Kings King Kingsbridge as a state is gonna be strong uh, that's uh, that's what I believe it's gonna be uh, the conclusion some people might die all along the way that's uh, like Anon for example Anon definitely seems like she's gonna uh, she was an important character even Regan supposedly an important character but I don't think I don't think uh, it doesn't seem to me that Regan is gonna be that important of a character Elizabeth that is William's uh, wife Williams Hamley's wife it def definitely doesn't seem like she's gonna be that important if we actually save her or not I thought by saving her I would I did assume that by saving her we might uh, she might actually help us later and we actually met Regan I thought that Regan like liked uh, Elizabeth and uh, and she would appease to us uh, for the reason that we actually helped Elizabeth uh, the game definitely didn't show that Maybe there are uh, choices that I'm that I'm missing, uh, but I don't know. Oh, that's uh, probably the, gonna be uh, the potential criticism, especially if these choices are gonna eliminate crucial and important characters. Like, oh, how the game is gonna proceed from there? It's gonna if the game is gonna proceed at the same uh, the same way that the, the the book is gonna proceed. It's just minus a character that is actually influential. So they're gonna just gonna replace Richard with Catface. Uh, or probably even uh, the better name, Catman. <laughs> Sally called him Catman, which is interesting. Uh, yeah, I would definitely take that as a criticism. That's something that, uh, uh not to say that Richard uh, did add something, but who knows? Maybe he actually, when he when he grows up, he's gonna actually be a man. Maybe that's uh. Uh, a point of his life being a little bitch at the very beginning but since he was pr pretty much young I think he was like 15 or something so which uh, makes sense but he might actually grow up to be like uh, um, uh, credible to his family's name he ha he's gonna grow up as a with a sense of purpose uh, which makes a lot of sense uh, then for Aliena to do all of that work and give all the money to Richard all of these choices especially when uh, trying to uh, support, you know, give money when we had the choice of giving uh, Catface money uh, more than Philip. Yeah, that would definitely make sense if we gave money to Richard, but not as. Uh, I would definitely, uh, I would definitely uh, uh, claim that uh, the way that Catface just, you know, gets all of this money and just you, you see him keep drinking, that I would definitely. Uh, uh, lose trust of a person like that, but it's uh, something like that that uh, Definitely didn't affect the game at all. So uh, It is a weird. This is a weird place for the game, and but uh, I would say that maybe these uh, choices these fake choices that de definitely do affect uh, a characters being present or not might actually ruin it. I don't know. I only have to, to actually buy, uh, read the book to actually see the conclusion of that. But uh, it's better if it's something that if if there's a game that's gonna go with that direction, I would probably it would probably be better if the game itself wrote its own story and actually made choices like that actually matter. If you choose something that will take you into a... Uh, if you choose something in, in a critical situation, that would definitely uh, take you to a... Uh, uh, to an entire different branch of the story. Something like where the conclusion of it is gonna be much different than uh, if... Uh, uh, if you choose some uh, something uh, else, it actually do does control your success or ultimate demise. Something like that, I don't think the game is gonna have uh, the full freedom of doing because uh, th in the end, it's gonna follow the conclusion of the book. And it seems that this game is go is going to be. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, of course. Didn't read the book, but it. Do I would say that it's it's gonna be the case. Uh, regardless, this is gonna be the case uh, regardless for the, with this game and uh, w that's the thing that I would definitely cr would criticize uh, uh, about this game so in conclusion viewers in conclusion uh, would I recommend this game uh, I would say if you are new 
to the genre of point and click genre and you want to try and play a game that f uh, focuses on the narrative more than the than, more than puzzles that has interesting characters uh, interesting events then yes this I would definitely say that this game is a must at this point yeah I'm I I, I love this game I think this game is great I think this game is definitely a really good uh, this is uh, this is uh, this is a game that I can recommend to anyone pretty much anyone for those especially uh, unless you are uh, want to that wanna a, uh, uh, a puzzle game uh, or a point to click game that has some sort of puzzles this game doesn't have any puzzles uh, uh, the QTEs are a little bit annoying especially if the QTEs are gonna like uh, be a, a deciding factor if uh, some, some uh, characters are gonna be are gonna be dead or not, which is uh, gonna um, gotta be honest, gonna be a little bit annoying. Oh well, I think the game cook saves uh, uh, on occasion. So you be, if you fail if you fail something and you think you you feel that uh, failing that QTE would make an important decision, I think he, you know going back to to the quick save would definitely help. Uh, I would say yeah that that would definitely can be a a, a deal breaker. QTEs always have been a deal breaker. Nonetheless, with that being said, I still I still believe that this game uh, is definitely suitable for everyone. So any that anyone if you if if anyone wants to have a quality uh, point and click game. Uh, I a uh, quality point and click game that focuses on narrative rather than than uh, puzzles. This is uh, a no brainer. This game is definitely a no brainer. The game uh, has a really good story, really fantastic characters, absolutely amazing visuals, uh, uh, quality voice acting. This game has it all, pretty much. I would say that this game has it all. Definitely one of the best game. Uh, one of the best. Uh, uh, point and click uh, adventure, uh, heavily uh, he uh, heavy narrative games that I played uh, ever, pretty much. <laughs> so yeah, have a nice day. Give it uh, the seal of quality, the seal of approval. This game is an, an this game is uh, amazing. This game is good, and I love this game. Uh, and pretty much, uh, I am. Uh, uh, I'm thankful that I actually. Uh, actually heard about about this game and I uh, had the uh, opportunity to play it and I hope that you guys enjoyed this playthrough uh, I'm really thankful for you uh, for anyone that actually stuck uh, through whole, the whole playthrough uh, thank you very much for watching uh, uh, something that I definitely want to plug is I do have a discord uh, uh, ask me for the uh, for the invites uh, if you want to get in it's uh, a private uh, server I uh, I do have a I do have a, a Twitch channel. I, I stream there from time to time. So if you want to talk to me, it's either there on the Discord or on streams. If you want to see uh, other kind of games that I uh, that I play. Also, of course, you uh, if you're interested in uh, in point and click games altogether, I play a lot of these on this channel. So feel free to explore the playlists that, that I have on my YouTube channel. Uh. Uh, thank you for the support. Uh, any kind of support, w w whether it uh, you know be watching, whether it be uh, uh, liking my videos, whether it be subscribing to my channel, whether it be commenting on the videos, uh, you know, giving you your thoughts. Uh, please give me your thoughts about. Uh, uh, give me your give me your thoughts about uh, uh, anything in any place uh, of the game, any place of the playthrough. Feel free to do that to any of my playthroughs. Uh, Financial support is uh, also. Uh, uh, I'm thankful for any financial support as well. Don't, please don't feel uh, obligated to do that, though. <laughs> Anything that comes, uh, I definitely uh, appreciate it. But please don't feel uh, obligated to that because just watching my channel, commenting, uh, liking, uh, and subscribing is uh, is a really big support, and I'm thankful for that uh, so thank you for watching 
viewers and uh, hopefully i'll see you in the next grand uh, adventure in, the, in, in a new let's play this has been have a nice day and i'll see you next time have a good one everyone peace